Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I've got a quick one for you. This is a how-to tutorial on Ventoy. I'm going to show you how to upgrade an existing Ventoy USB drive to a newer version of Ventoy. Um, you can do this obviously on a blank USB, uh, but really you'd probably just be installing the net new version. Or you can do this on an existing Ventoy USB that has data on there already. If you've already got, say, the Ultimate USB or you've made your own, whatever the case may be, uh, you can update from any version for the most part to a newer version. So what I'll do here today, this one is actually currently writing. So I'll do another demonstration after this is uh, completed. We have about five minutes left on that, but I'll just go ahead and use this J drive here, which is a ESD 310C. This is what I usually use for the Ultimate USB version two as the first demo. This is a blank USB right now. It doesn't have Ventoy. If it did have Ventoy, it would show up here, Ventoy on device or Ventoy in device. Um, so we'll put 1096 on it, and then we're going to download the newest version, 1097, and then we'll upgrade this. So let's take a look at that. So all you have to do is select your USB in Ventoy if you're not familiar with it. Make sure you have the right USB selected because this will wipe all the data the first time you install it. When you update it, you don't have to worry about that. Um, it doesn't delete any data. It just up excuse me, it just updates the Ventoy version. Sorry if you guys can hear my dog in the background. He's chewing on his squeaky toy, hoping he doesn't wake up the family. It's pretty early. All right, so we say yes there. It'll double check. So again, make sure you've got that drive, uh, the correct drive selected there. Okay, congratulations. You have Ventoy on there. All right, so now you see Ventoy in package is 196, and then Ventoy on your device already, 196. All right, so now we're going to download the newest version, which is 1097. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to grab the Windows Zip. Uh, I'll give you guys this link in the description, but it's just ventoy.net forward slash en forward slash download.htm. So go ahead and click on that. If you're using Linux, obviously grab the tarball or the tar.gzip. Uh, you click on this, take you over to SourceForge. Remember, this is one of the only sites where you want to actually, where you do actually want to click on that big green button. That's a uh, IT joke. All right, so that downloaded. I already downloaded once, but I want to show you guys again. So click on show in the folder, and then we can extract all. You guys are probably familiar with extracting zip files by now, but if not, just follow along. Click extract. You can pick a different folder to put it in. I just put it right in the downloads folder and a, and a subfolder to that. Okay, so now that we are in the extracted folder of the new version of Ventoy, you can open that up. Uh, it comes with quite a few folders here, a few utilities. Uh, we've looked at this one before, but the main utility is the Ventoy to disk. This is how you create or install Ventoy onto a USB drive. Let's go ahead and double click that to open it. We will accept the UAC prompt. And then we will bring this guy over on the screen where you can see him. And now if I select my J drive again, that's the one we just installed 1096 on. We see Ventoy on device or Ventoy in device 1096. Ventoy in package, which is this virgin, version that it will um, install or update to any drive that you're using. We can now install or we can update. So we're going to want to update and that'll allow us to keep all the data on the drive if we had a bunch of stuff already set up. So let's go ahead and click update. And we'll say, great operation is safe. ISO files will be unchanged. Continue. We'll say yes. Yes, please. That'll just take a second, and that is done. So now your Ventoy is running the latest package of 1097. If you guys buy um, these USBs from my shop, uh, first of all, thank you guys for the support. I really appreciate it. It helps a lot. Uh, and hopefully you're enjoying them. I've got some pretty good feedback so far. But obviously the Ventoy package will eventually become outdated. It's not a big deal. You can continue to use it like that as long as you want. But if you want to stay up to date on the latest and greatest, sometimes they roll out new features, things like that. Uh, feel free to update your stick. I'm going to do another video. Um, it should be coming out around the same time as this or shortly after about backing up your um, Ventoy USBs and even copying them over to a new USB. I had a question about, can I put this on a larger stick? Of course you can. You can do anything you want with it. So if you are a little nervous about running the update, you can check out my video. It'll be up soon about updating. I'm sorry, about backing up Ventoy USB. And that way you can upgrade uh, your Ventoy with absolutely no worries at all. All right. I'm going to let the uh, stick that I'm making right now, the it's a new USB, um, Ultimate USB version 2 for a customer. I'm going to let that finish. It's It actually has 1096 on it for Ventoy. 
we will boot into it. We'll do a quick sanity test to make sure it's working. I do that with all my sticks, by the way. I don't send anything out that I haven't QA'd personally myself. And then I will run this again, and we'll upgrade it from 1096 to 1097, and then we'll run through that same QA, and I'll show you guys that uh, upgrading Ventoy had no impact on the functionality of the ISOs and configuration within the stick, but it did successfully bring us up to the latest version of Ventoy. So I'm going to pause for a second, and we'll be right back when that stick's done to demo that out. Okay, guys, so the, um, the build of the Ultimate USB version 2 for the latest customer has completed. And as we see here, Ventoy in package, I just opened Ventoy and selected that drive, so um, the drive that I just completed building that is. So 1097 is in the package, and what's currently in the device is 1096. So we could hit update, and this would update just fine and everything would work, but let's go ahead and demonstrate that before we do it. So this is our ESD310C, our H drive. So if I fire up this uh, VirtualBox VM, we're gonna connect that and boot to that, make sure it works, then we'll update Ventoy, rinse and repeat, make sure it works. All right, so we're gonna do devices, USB, and we're gonna connect our Transcend ESD310, and then we'll reboot this device. And that should take us into the uh, Ventoy <clears throat> USB, where we'll be prompted for a password because I do password protect these USBs for you. All right, so as you see, this worked. We've got our brand new logos for our latest um, multi-tools. If you guys haven't seen the videos I've been doing on the WinPE environments, uh, we added Bob, Bob Oms uh, modified Win10 PE, and then we also added lately the OnkTech. Uh, both solid, very solid products there. Um, and then I did demos on adding images and modifying Ventoy configuration files and things like that. So feel free to check those out as well, guys. All right, so now that we know this works, we're going to go ahead and power this machine off. And then we're going to go back to Ventoy. UAC prompt accepted. Pull that over. Uh, we're going to select the correct drive. If I blow away my wife's SD card, she'll be very upset. So double check, you get the right drive here. And this time we see again Ventoy in package is 197. That's the version of Ventoy we're looking at. And then on the stick, I have a slightly outdated version of 1096. So I can simply click update. And it says again, upgrade operation is safe. ISO files will be unchanged. Would you like to continue? Yes, please. All right, so now we see that Ventoy is 197 on the device. That's the latest and greatest out. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and do a sanity check to make sure nothing was harmed in the process of the upgrade. So we'll power on that virtual machine again. We'll have to go back in and do a uh, connect the USB, transcend ESD310. That is connected, and now we will reset the machine. And this should boot us into the 1097 version of Ventoy, which we see right here on the screen. Ventoy 1097. Close this out. And we type in our password again. And look at that. We still have all our icons. We still have our theme. Everything's functional. Go to multi-tools. Still got all our new stuff in there. Very cool. So that's a quick video, guys, on how you can safely and easily upgrade the version of Ventoy on your USB thumb drive. If you guys have picked one of these up, again, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your support. It helps the channel. It helps me. Um, it makes me want to keep doing all this type of stuff. And hopefully, again, you guys are enjoying it. I do feel that uh, there's a lot of value in these prepackaged USBs that I'm providing, especially if you're learning IT or you're in IT save you guys a lot of time and again help me out so thank you guys so much for all the support if you haven't checked them out yet head over to bootableusbs.com i've got a what do i got now six i have six different usbs that you can choose from uh, they vary in size and price but what you're looking at today is the best usb that you can buy uh, this is again a 3.2 gen 2 usb a usb c the ultimate usb version 2 jam-packed with all types of different things we've got 50, I think it's 59 now. I'm going to have to update my description. 59 bootable images in one across several categories. Antivirus, desktop OSs, forensics, games. This is a full-blown arcade with Batacera. 
uh, tons of emulators in there. You can load as many ROMs as you want. We got different hypervisors, multi tools. This is where we have all our WinPE and Swiss Army knives within the ultimate Swiss Army knife. Uh, networking category, pen testing and offsec. We've got Cali Parrot, you name it in there. Privacy and security, server OS, tools, and each one of those categories is jam packed with stuff. Not to mention, a lot of these have persistence. So when you uh, shut down the USB or when you pull it out, you have the option to save everything if you load it with persistence. You've got a fully installed version of Tiny 11, so anything you do is saved. It's jam packed, guys. <laughs> I could go on and on about this USB. I'm, I'm just slightly proud of it if you can't tell. So, again, if you guys haven't checked it out, consider heading over to bootableusbs.com. Pick one up today. I'll get it shipped out to you tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I really appreciate everyone's support. If you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. The goal for the year is 10,000 subs. We're growing pretty consistently. Um, I'm going to have to step it up a little bit uh, as far as my analytics go, the way I'm trending. Um, but I think we can do it. As long as I'm consistent and the community is, continues to be supportive, we can get to 10K by the end of the year. All right, guys, hit that like button, share this with your friends, leave a comment, and everyone have a great day. Till the next one, take care.